All right, hey YouTube, sorry about that, I accidentally hit the wrong button on my phone. But yeah, here's the second reptile I'm going to be feeding. I uh, showcased him in some of my previous videos. This is my uh, Halomera Blue Tongue Skink. Yeah, he's going to be eating a little bit of his diet, which consists of um, ground turkey, chicken hearts, various squashes, zucchini, and then uh, some fresh spring mix. Oh yeah, don't mind that, that's just a little bit of snail shell from the snail from, <clears throat> excuse me, yesterday. He's a little bit startled because I just picked him up out of his tank. He's not really, he doesn't like him picked up out of his tank, but once you get him situated and feeding, he's alright. Plus, he goes bonkers for uh, this kind of food. He just needs to sort of taste it. Yep, there we go. Very cool. Right now his color looks really dull, but that's just because of the cypress mulch I'm feeding him on, and he may go in the shed soon. Maybe. Try to get him a little bit more. Season. Very nice. Let's try and eat some of that. He's got a little bit of cypress mulch on his face right now. Yeah, I can't really understand what he's trying to do when he does this. Like, I'm not sure if he realizes he's climbing on me or not because he's not really tame. So it's sort of different. Try hand feeding him a little now. Which is sort of hard to do because he bites my fingers if I'm trying to hand feed him. He does okay with hand feeding. He's pretty good with it. A little aggressive with it, and I guess like that's gonna be fun when he's like 20 inches long and his and his head's like the size of like my palm practically. I doubt their bites could really do. Nope, they won't do damage or anything. Yeah, I just wanted to quickly show feeding him. I still want this video to be long enough to showcase the rest of my snakes. So I'm probably just going to cut it off here, then put him back in his tank that might need as on leisure. But yeah, that's my Indonesian, I uh, mean, um, yeah, Indonesian Halamahera Butong Skink. Alright, YouTube, I'm back. Now I'm going to go and feed my three other snakes. First up is my Colombian, I met my female Colombian rainbow boa. She's going to be eating a small rat. I'm pretty sure she's underneath this hot, so I'm going to try to get her to come out to eat. Because their feeding response is absolutely insane. Oh, there she is. Watch this. I'm going to try to get her rear up for you guys. To get an idea of her size. You can't really see her from this angle. But yeah, she has an absolute off-the-wall feeding response. Oh, she missed. Shit. Yeah, she's about, I think, 300, um, 50, 320 grams now. But she can definitely handle smaller, small rats. Yeah, I'll let her just go and... Oh, shit. Sorry about that. Uh, let her go and tear that rat up. The coolest thing is that she'll actually go and guard it afterwards and she'll strike at me if I'm walking. Here, it's her. I'm going to 
gonna feed them. Now I'm gonna feed the male. All right, yeah, now I'm gonna feed the male a um, adult mouse. I sort of poked him a little, you know, get him ready. Then once he gets the smell, he's gonna be coming up like a bat out of hell. His, his feeding response is even more intense than the females. Come on, I'm gonna try to make this one video. Please hurry. I'm under time constraint. There's his head. Oh yeah, now he sees his feeding time. Yeah, throw some coils on it. Oh damn, I got an entire full body coil on it. Look at that, three coils. Gotta love boas. Like, look at that face. Face of a goddamn psychopath. Oh yeah, that's some male Colombian rainbow bow. I'll let him eat in peace. Now I'm gonna to try to feed my ball python. All right, YouTube. Now I just sort of set my camera up against his tank. He's been off feed for about five weeks now, and he he's big enough to eat medium rats. So I'm just gonna to try to offer him a small, so I can get him to eat something. Let me see. I'm gonna be, I'm like 99% sure he's not gonna take this. If he does, I'm gonna be pretty happy. No, I seriously doubt he's gonna take it. He sort of has that same ball python feeding tendency of like, going off feed for a while and just being very not necessarily like the boas. The boas honestly ever since I've had them there's maybe been one meal they skipped. They'll eat when they're in shed, they'll eat when they're not like right after being held they're just savages but the boa yeah yeah I'm probably gonna have to end the video too I can tell you he's not gonna eat I'll post in the description if he does anything else, but remember like, comment, and subscribe.